they are not on the campaign train of Bola Tinubu. Do you agree? Because according to them, they, you know, uh, what's his name now? Uh, Dele Momodu said the other day that they are ashamed of your standard bearer. Um, what, what's your thought on this? Well, thank you very much. But um, I, I don't know what um, they are talking about and who they are talking about. Because um, we have uh, virtually explained um, almost uh, the, the absence or otherwise of anybody who ever, you know, uh, you know we, within our campaign uh, set up. And they are not much. Uh, they are not much. The other time, uh, I issued a statement about the vice president. Mm -hmm. And um, I was very clear, you know, that the president was the one that gave the specific instruction about the vice president, you know, that whilst he is going to join the campaign trail, uh, campaign train, and he's going to be present on our campaign trail, um, that the vice president should uh, concentrate more on governance. That's for the vice president. Mm. Uh, we also, the vice president, also with Ashua Ju about a week ago, went to visit him, gave him his best wishes, and uh, he's fully in with us, his spirit and everything. Um, there's, we, uh, our, you know, you know. Unfortunately, when you hear people like some of the spokespersons of the PDP talk about us, you will wonder um, whether they have played the lock in their own eyes before they are talking about us. Our party is is is, is completely together. In fact, this question is a uh, surprise because our, our party is completely united. We we are not seeing you some see of your. Here? We're not seeing some of your big party men. Uh, Chris Ngige has not joined the campaign train. Uh, Roti Mamechi has not joined. The president has not joined. The VP has not joined. Roti Mamechi Ma Ma was at the flag off in Jaws. I mean, we are not like the PDP where you have six, six governors rebelling now that they can openly, openly say they are going to campaign for other candidates. Well, so you hear people like that talk. <clears throat> that some of our poor are ashamed of Aswaju. It's just um, a pity. It's a pity that um, we don't want to descend to such a um, gutter language that they use. Mm -hmm. How can you say a party that, you know, overwhelmingly uh, elected a candidate at a convention? It was not uh, even a neck to neck like uh, the PDP a convention. This was an overwhelming, overwhelming. You know, election a choice at the convention. You don't say that same party is ashamed of what? I mean, what kind of gutter language is that? Hmm. You know, look at the party. Like I look, I said, look at the party that's even talking. This is a party where it, that that the umbrella is in total tatters. People have openly, not like this one that they ever said they are insinuating. Hmm. Governors, sitting governors, have openly, openly. Who is ashamed of who? Tell me. Who is ashamed of who? And yes, we have not used such language on them. We have even kept away from it all, allowing them to steal in their own choice. Okay, so um, it's just, um, unfortunately, uh, permit my language, just got a talk. And it does not deserve a response from us. Mm. We are a united party. Everybody is on board, Every, including Mr. President is on board. Honorable uh, Kermo, let's, let's move this conversation even further. I want to talk to you about what we... People have talked about severally, and that's your candidates appearing at town halls. Uh, I know you've said a few things about it, but um, is truly your candidate not going to attend any town hall to interact with Nigerians? Well, I don't understand what you mean by he's not going to attend town. Our, our, our candidates have attended more town halls than any other candidate. That that you well, your, that yeah, that your that team, your party organized. The town halls that no, your that's party even, organized. That's even, that even the even civil society and some groups organized and invited him. What, what party is that? We were with the agro, what, what town hall? Uh, we were with the agro business community in Niger. We were with a labor congress. The you know labor groups, not even the labor labor congress. We were with the youth. We have been with so many, so many times with businessmen in Lagos. Has has your has your candidate appeared in a town hall organized by civil society organizations and the media? When you say when you say civil society or the media, are you talking about a different set of Nigerians living in Cameroon or Niger Republic or 
or Jaws or, or South Africa. It, it's look, it's my sounding... candidate is talking. Hold on, my candidate is talking to Nigerians. That is what's important. My candidate is talking to Nigerians. My candidate, like I said, we said, look, I, 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 we we made this statement very clear before, and at times we are surprised that people repeat the same thing a thousand times. You you, you don't you don't you don't, you don't think it's Im- you don't think it's, it. you don't think it's important for your for your candidates to speak to Nigerians through the media. You don't think that yes, is important? I want to ask you about this, and I want to do this with all the apologies, all apologies. Yeah. We have we have more than five, is it 400 radio stations in Nigeria? Mm-hmm. More than 100 TV stations? And mm-hmm. uh, let me tell you this. We have invitations from more, more than 50, 50 of them. Private individuals, private stations. These are owned by private people. My candidates have been very clear about this. And I will repeat it again here. And I said, we all, we have the greatest respect, greatest respect for the media, the organized, the orthodox media. Let me just put, I must use that word advisedly, because I'm going to explain that in a few seconds okay. now, why, I use it, why I'm using that advisedly. Okay. The orthodox media. Mm. We have the utmost respect for them. However, my candidate said, we are not going to pay heed, we are not going to heed to some, you know, pay heed to some, and then don't pay heed to others. My candidate wants to be fair to everybody. And so we say, we are not going to make selective appearances from one media organization that organizes one, you know, town hall or, uh, you know, engagement to another one. We're not going to be that selective. We would rather organize platforms where we're going to talk, you know, to Nigerians as a whole. So, well, we have explained that. And the people keep explaining, why are you not doing the media and media? And let me come down to this media when I talk about orthodox media. Yes, please. Whether you like it or not, and I say this, I repeat it, if you're offended, I apologize or beat my friends in media, I apologize. Why I use the word orthodox is that today, today as it is today, mm-hmm. the, the media space and communication has been so liberalized that the orthodox media does not lo- do no longer controls the narrative or the communication, you know, uh, you know uh, avenue to the Nigerian people. I do not have to go to the orthodox media today to talk to Nigerians. I don't have to. It has been liberalized. In, in other words, you, you don't... You, in other words... Let me tell you this, eh? In other words... And like I said, I apologize again. It, unfortunately, I can even reach more Nigerians today than even some radio stations. It is, in other words, is, is, is that what your administration, if voted in, is that what Bonatinubu would... Is that how Bonatinubu would see... The conventional media as insignificant, even though, it, it even, though even though, even though, honorable minister, honorable minister, honorable minister, honorable minister, even though, even though the conventional media, even though the, even though the conventional media recognizes the media, your, your, your party will see the media as insignificant. Is that what you're saying? Like I said. I said, you are putting words in my mouth now because you want to spin a narrative to Nigerians. I never said, I said the highest respect. Now you are turning it to insignificant. You said you don't need the media. That's what you no, said. No, I did not say so. I did not say you, you, you can just, you it. Ju- you just you said it that you do it. not said, need the I media. Don't need I do not need only the auto. You are spinning it. No, you're, you, you said you do I not repeat, need the... I do not need only the orthodox media. I do not. I repeat it. You can repeat it a thousand let's, times. Let's move on. I repeat it the way Nigerians want to, the way I want Nigerians to hear it. I do not need only the orthodox media. I need every means by which to reach Nigerians. And the orthodox media does not, no longer controls the, the avenue by which I reach Nigerians. Mm. And I repeat it a thousand times. All right. And that is, the, that is a fact. It's uh, a fact. Honorable Minister, uh, let's let's move on a, a little bit from that area. Let, let's talk about the current insecurity bedeviling the country. Um, the president gave an assurance that by December everything would calm down, and I'm sure that you've been following up on the trend, the abduction in in Edo. Um, what's what's the what's the government response to this? Well, insecurity is um, addressing insecurity is an ongoing exercise. There's no point in our history where by the flick of a switch, by the flick of a switch, nothing 
no, nothing at all. A crime will never happen at all in, in our country again, you know. Uh, we regret it, okay? Everybody regrets it when anything that, you know, touches on insecurity happens. We do regret it. However, like I said, it's an ongoing issue. The president did not even say December. He said, before I hand over, he said, before I hand over, I will try and hand over a secure country. So when we talk about insecurity at yeah, times, yeah. we only talk about the kind of the kind of effort we are making mm -hmm. and the, the problems on the ground. The president has made all kinds of uh, uh, given all kinds of incentives to the law enforcement agencies, and we see that happening all the time. He recounts it all the time. The efforts he has given them, the marching orders he has given them, you know, to ensure that some of these things are dipped in the board. Mm. We are not uh, going to be uh, boastful, really, about uh, the scale of the scale of insecurity, whether it is going up or down. Anyone that happens at all, anyone is hurtful enough to a nation. Mm. So we regret the incident that happened. However, we want to appeal to Nigerians that it's not a situation where we can be hopeless. Mm. Mm. Security agencies are stepping up, stepping up to the challenge. However, like I said, crime is not going to be totally eliminated one day. Mm. We can only talk about the effort that governments make, just like the gun crime in America. The gun crime in America is, you know, is rising every day. The people are going to malls and schools and shooting people and killing people. Mm -hmm. However, this is not a, a forum to do comparative analysis. It's mm -hmm. just to say that there's not one one morning will not will not um, uh, come. One mm -hmm. day will not come where by the flick of a switch, no single crime will happen. You know, we can only talk about what we are making with the efforts we are making. Uh, Honourable, Honourable Minister, you know the reason I have to I had to bring in this um, question is because uh, we've been talking about it since 5 a.m. and there seems to be this general belief that the government is behind the insecurity. Uh, there's this general belief that the government is pampering um, this criminal herdsman in the forest in the bushes and then coming heavily uh, down on uh, you know unknown gunmen and the. Uh, in, especially in the eastern, southeastern part of the country, and I would like for you to address that, you know, uh, that notion quickly. Well, unfortunately, um, if you permit my language, that is that is nonsense talk. You know, somebody gets up to say a government is pampering, pampering criminals. How can how can people make such such allegations? You know, can we can we, for example, point to a particular incident where? A particular criminal, you know, is uh, is identified and then not arrested mm. or not brought to book. You know, I don't think that is correct. And for the past eight years that President Buhari has been in power, unfortunately, he's, I mean, you know, uh, we have tried to explain to Nigerians over and over, but a certain, you know, section of Nigerians, they keep spinning this still around him up to the point that he's even exiting power. For the last eight years, they've hung, hung this allegation around his neck that he's pampering some people mm. from some parts of the country who are criminals. And that's quite unfortunate. But there's no no, no, no empirical you know, uh, basis for such um, allegation. And uh, it's, it's not just correct. It's a wicked allegation that is not correct at all. Mm, indeed. Now, let's move on. Let's, let me ask this question. Let's go back to the campaign train now. Uh, your candidate, Bola Tinubu, once uh, quoted that um, he didn't have much belief in the operations of Bivas. Um, according to the, the news around, that he, he's, he wants reassurances from INEC on the capacity and the capability of uh, the Bivas machines. Uh, is that still the case with your candidate or, or your candidate is now fully ready to, to go into the election knowing full well that Bivas machines will be used? I hope you will not be offended when I say once again that the, the press is spin things out of completely out of context. My candidate did not say anything like that, that he does not have faith in Bivas. Show me one sentence, he said one, one statement that he made that corresponds with what you just said. Mm. This is the complaint we have at times about the kind of slants that some media houses put to what we say. My candidate only says that he wants reassurances. That's what I say. From kindness. If he wants reassurances from INEC that it will be, it will not be, you know, uh, abused, or that there will not be some kind of external interference or so that, or it will get to all Nigerians. But he never, ever, ever said 
he does not have faith in beavers. Mm. You know, so we are appealing to the press again. We are appealing, we are begging that we should be more professional, we should be more, you know, Honorable Minister, Honorable Minister, I beg to differ, Honorable Minister. Let, let's go back to the press. I'm begging you, are begging me. <laughs> I'm begging you, I'm begging me. I'm prepared for example, for instance, that you quote uh, uh, my claim. Uh, Honorable Minister. My, my Honorable candidate. Minister. You Honorable are Minister. Me up. Honorable you Minister. Me up. Honorable Minister. Every hold on. Talking about your, your issues, you shut me up. Honorable Minister. Hold on. Hold on. Let's I let's go it. back. Let's go back to the press because it's it's as though you're you're on this show to vilify the the press at all, at all cost. I am not. When you when you are when, it out of context again. when when the press reports that your your candidate said he needs reassurances, what does that mean exactly? It's just a reassure. Reassurance is reassurance. It does not mean I don't have faith. Oh, really? It means reassure Nigerians. Millions of Nigerians are listening to you now, and they will judge between me and you who is correct in terms of interpretation of English language. Okay, all right. I am not. You know? I'm not being judgmental, honourable minister. I, 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 I need to. That's what you are doing. I needed to have an open mind. Okay, I needed to have an open okay. mind. Uh, let, I, I'm, I'm begging you as a pressman to also have an open mind. Let's have an open mind to this conversation, honourable minister. Your your candidate said he need he needed reassurances from. Reassurance uh, does not mean I don't have faith. What does Just he assure Nigerians? It's okay. He, no, no. He 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 needed it, not Nigerians. He needed it. Is it's it's a, not is about it, Nigerians. Is this a debating and is it so you are debating with me now? I am just telling you. Are, you, you, are, you are here, you are here today, eh? I Honorable am here Minister. Today for, Honorable not Minister. For my views, not for you to debate with me. Honorable Minister, it I is have not told you my views, but you are you are still pounding on the same issue, uh, and I've told you that it is a wrong interpretation you are putting to it when somebody says I just, Nigerians need reassurances. Not no, he Nigeria. did. He did not say Nigerians. He said he needed reassurances. But that's fine. That that's so, okay. I don't miss that. That's okay <laughs> because we're we're almost done for this for this hour now for this interview. <laughs> let's take let's take just one or two questions. Then um, uh, we can call it a morning. I'm not even sure we can take two. But let's just take one, and then I, I will let you get to your. Well, you. Hello. Good morning to you. Hello. Good morning. Good, good morning to you. God, God continue to bless you. Quickly, please, quickly, thank you. I am I'm happy questions you've been asking this honorable minister. And you can see the way he's giving you respect. I am very, very happy with that. But what I really want to say is that Nigerians are ready to come around. I am happy that I got my DBC day before yesterday. Right. Joy all over me. Right. Are you getting me? I'm with you. So Nigerians should be ready. Hmm. We should be ready. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your thought. I appreciate it. I really don't have much time. And we said, let's take one more call, then um, we'll um, call it a morning. Good morning to you. I didn't get that, though. I didn't okay. get that. It was very oh. low. I okay. Some... Hello, good morning, Carmen. Good morning. I'll get you okay, to listen now. May God bless you. Yes. I, I greet uh, Mr. Kremo. Saying that I want to be able to come and interview for Arise TV and Carriers. Nigerians ask a question. Mm. Yes, let him come arrive on time. Okay, thank you. I think we can. I think we can squeeze in one more. Good morning to you. Good morning, Mister Sherry. Yes, good morning to you. Yes, Lucky Lola from Bankoli Maguru. Welcome. Yes, sir, Honourable. I must confess that myself and many Nigerians are not happy with this present administration, and to make this worse, you know, you have the presidential candidate who come out to commit blunders here and there, knowing full well that he's going to meet with foreign counterparts. Sir, I want to ask, is your presidential candidate fit for this job or what? Because I don't Thank you, Lucky Lola. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Honorable Minister, let's take it from the last um, comment. Well, unfortunately, we um, most of these um, allegations against um, my candidate are not true. Okay. Um, they, you know, the opposition have adopted a strategy where you repeat a thing a thousand times to make it true, to make it repeat a lie. For example, they said he's not fit. However, he has been to more campaign grounds than every other candidate. He, as I speak with you, is on the way to Yola this morning. Mm. You know, he has not, he's been back to back, you know, campaigning for the past few, even after the, after the holiday, mm. back to back every mm. day. He has been had, having several engagements. My candidate is on his two feet. 
He's not assisted to anywhere. So I don't know where is this story coming from. Mm. You know, so mm. at times people mm. play God when they make these allegations, mm. you know, without any, you know, any evidence to substantiate. So I completely disagree. He's there before Nigerians to see. And uh, for anybody who says, well, you know, he, Hello, Minister, you know what, you know what, let's, let's, let's take a very quick break huh? and we'll continue afterwards, please. Stay with us, please. All right. Yeah. We go team of Kola Abiola and Haru Zago for president and vice president. PRP Victory! Please listen to this public service announcement. Are you or anyone around you having rashes on the face, hands, feet, and any part of the body that may fill with liquid or pus, with or without a sudden fever, headache, body pain, and weakness? You may be infected with monkeypox. Monkeypox is an infectious disease transmitted from animals to humans and from humans to humans to protect yourself and loved ones avoid contact with sick or dead animals avoid skin to skin contact with persons infected with or showing symptoms of monkeypox do not share talk, or handle clothing and personal items of an infected person stay safe by washing your hands frequently with soap under running water especially after caring for or visiting sick people early detection saves lives if you or anyone around you shows symptoms, please visit the nearest health facility for treatment to help stop the spread of the disease. This message is brought to you by the Federal Ministry of Health, NCDC, and partners. Crawford University. Faith City, Kilometer 8, Atwan Agbara Road, Ogo State, is admitting students into undergraduate, DUPERB, HND conversion, diploma and postgraduate program in the following colleges, Business and Social Sciences, Natural and Applied Sciences, Heart and Communication Studies. For more details, please visit our website, www.crawforduniversity.edu.ng or send email to info at crawforduniversity.edu.ng or call 0703-608-8135, 0703-199-0029. Crawford University, imparting knowledge with godliness. We all have that one friend that always hides everything from everyone else. Like my guy, Sheo that got one gig free data when he downloaded my MTN NG app. Did he share the gist with us? No! But we found out, and even something he doesn't know, that we get up to 2 gig data if we recharge 500 Naira or more on my MTN NG app with our debit card. You don't mean it! That's not all though. We also get 10% extra on every airtime recharge made on my MTN NG app. Wow! Will we share the gist with him? Yes. No! That's correct. You get 1 gig free data when you download my MTN NG app. Up to 2 gig when you recharge 500 Naira and above with your debit card on my MTN NG app. And 10% extra on every recharge made on the app. So what are you waiting for? Download my MTN NG app today to enjoy. Terms and conditions apply. Guys, here he comes. Guy, any gist today? What are we doing today? Flower Mills of Nigeria PLC FMN is committed to creating an integrated supply chain that can provide stakeholders with complete access to high-quality, fair-priced products. FMN continues to provide the needed support to its business partners through capacity development and the establishment of a sustainable route market structure. Through its R&D strategy, FMN has created an agile route to market structure that allows for seamless product mobility and delivery from the point of processing to the end users. From farm to table, the group has created a resilient and sustainable 
supply chain structure. FMN is committed to affording Nigerians complete access to high quality, fair price products from cultivation to final consumption while accelerating food processing, value addition and the sustainable development of its supply chain. The group is passionate about feeding the nation every day and is a source of livelihood for millions of Nigerian families. FMN, feeding possibilities, transforming lives. Papa, Mama, brother, sister, this Lagos must work for all of us. Everybody does. I welcome Mona to 2023. This 2023 way this is so life go better. Everybody go to live freely well in life for inside Okudo, Lagos. Sake of say, this 2023, everybody go day free from Agbiruan. Lagos go free from Gosolo. Lagos go free from flood where they fool everywhere inside Ray and they never get solution to run. Lagos go free from bad, bad road them. Lagos go free from local, local market where no get time. Lagos go free for robbery where they shell for inside Gosolo. But in our hand, we go used to choose better life for ourselves. Oh. Vote for Jandor. Make we come out Lagos from one individual hand. We the summer everybody for. Oh. Vote for governor. We go get mind of himself. We will go the proud of every time, every day. Fight for Lagos. Fight for your right. Jafe ko Jafe toe. Vote PDP. PDP power. Everybody jafe ko. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Your number one station for talk. Let's talk. Morning Crossfire on 99.3 Nigeria Info. Welcome back to the Morning Crossfire here on Nigeria Info 99.3. I have seen an advocate, Fessus Kiamo, on the show this morning, a member of the um, APC PCC, and we've been talking about the APC campaign and um, the surrounding issues. Honorable um, Minister, thank you so much for joining us again um, this morning on the program. Thank you, my brother. Uh, you're responding to the um, callers, uh, and we 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 want to. Um, Lucky Lola, the last caller, was talking about your um, candidates. Yes, I, I was just saying that um, appealing to him and to some other and other Nigerians too, who tend to believe some of these um, statements that are not true or some of these lies, to put it um, as uh, plainly as I, I can as I can, that uh, these things are not true. Uh, we are not God. They said the same thing about uh, Buhari in 2015, if you remember. There was even somebody who went to take an advert at that time and uh, put a skeleton in front of the advert, on, in front, on the front page of a new national newspaper, say, depicting the skeleton as a Buhari that Buhari will not survive mm. in power. Mm. Now, Buhari is, even, is finishing his eight years and he's even looking stronger than many people who are much younger than him. So my appeal to this kind of Nigerians who believe such, you know, untruths is that they should know that we cannot play God. We cannot play God as uh, human beings. I made an example a few weeks, a few days ago on some other station. I, I mentioned uh, Morgan Zwangarai. Morgan Zwangarai was the opposition leader in Zimbabwe mm. a few years ago. He was much younger, more fitter than Robert Mugabe, who was in power then. It was it was his campaign point at that time to the Zimbabweans that Robert Mugabe was too old, he was not going to live too long, and that people should support him because he's a much younger person. Mm. But guess what? Morgan Zwangara died long before Mugabe died, uh, exited power, mm. and then you know finally died. Mm. So that is what we are saying that people should not play God in matters of health. People should not. Mm. A candidate, like everybody's seen, is going from place to place. There's nothing wrong with him. He has not collapsed. He has not fainted. So this notion of where that he's sick is not fit. We don't know where the idea is coming from. We have no 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 knowledge of where this is coming from. Mm. So we continue to ask to Nigerians not to listen to such things that are not true. Mm. Okay. All right. Um, uh, I would like to t take just one call. Then we go this morning. I know I've taken your time. Uh, we said 25 minutes is uh, beyond that beyond now. Time. This is our last call th this morning. Hello? Good morning to you. Yeah, good morning. Yes, please. Quickly. My name is my name is uh, Gideon Balotelli. Ah, okay. Uh, thank you very much for this opportunity. Yes, please. Mr. Sheriff. Sir? Sincerely, I don't know where all this uh, Ashwagis no fit is coming from. Okay. Okay. A man who is traveling up and down, mm -hmm. campaigning, you are saying it's not fit. Mm -hmm. Mr. Sheriff, I put it to you. 
you are a much younger person. Hmm. And I'm sure if you go through what Ashiwazi has gone through hmm. in the past few weeks, I'm sure you might collapse. Hmm. So this narrative of uh, Ashiwazi is not fit, it's not fit, it's, just, it's so much unfounded. Hmm. It doesn't make any sense to us. Okay. People should, people should campaign against the uh, APC on, a, on, a, on an issue-based ground, not health ground. The same thing they said of uh, a PMB about eight years ago. So how many of us who are very young can, can go through the, 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 the stretch of, of, of what campaigns have to do mm. with the health? Mm. Mm. So Mr. Sheriff, please, please, I don't like you to uh, push this narrative together with those who are bent on uh, destroying the... Uh, Ashwaju, thank you very much. Thank you too for calling. Appreciate it. Um, I'm, I'm sure p perhaps you heard wrong. These were questions asked by the callers. We didn't even talk about um, the campaign stuff. We're only talking about press interview and all of that. But Honorable Minister, um, let's, um, let's hang it here um, till the next time we meet again. Thank you so much for coming on the show this morning. Thank you for inviting me. I just to say, put in this last word, that if I think that orthodox business on is significant, I won't be here today. I break, I broke my holidays to talk to you this morning. I broke my holidays. Yeah. I'm on holidays. I, I, I appreciate that. Become, I appreciate that. I, I woke up. I woke. I would have slept till ten o'clock. I woke up, put my phone on alert mm. just to speak with you. Mm. And then I've not used the word insignificant. And all of a sudden, you said I said insignificant. I said the highest. I used the word the, the phrase the highest respect. I only said, however, we decided to explore other means to reach more Nigerians. Mm. That is all I said. But well, I, and they, they respect that. But just honorable, as much as we respect you, we want you to also respect our own choices. Honorable too. Minister. And that's all we beg for. Honorable that's Minister. All we, for. We, we respect the fact that your candidate said the media wanted to use him to make money because he's a marketable person. We did not say so. He was talking about a particular <laughs> station that is a private station. Organizing, organizing a debate, and we know, of course, that that station has anchors that are purely that are political carrying members of other political parties. The anchors, all and of the, like you all of the there, anchors. They are card carrying members, my brother. I'm just being honest with you, and you know that. You know that card carrying members of other political parties saying they are organizing a debate and they want to be neutral. Will you attend that kind of debate, you yourself? Will you? Haba. 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 Good Th morning and goodbye, Nigeria. <laughs> Thank you for joining us this morning, uh, as usual. Um, yeah, so it's uh, very interesting speaking with Senior Advocate Fessus Kiyamu. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna leave it there um, this morning, okay? Because I, I need to give out some some cash. I've not been giving out some cash, so I will just take uh, a few one or two reactions to the chat. Then um, once it's eight forty-five, we'll give out some money. Good morning to you. Good morning, Mr. Sherry. Good morning. You called earlier, yeah? Let's let's not repeat this, okay? Good morning to you. Good morning, Mr. Sherry. Good morning, sir. Yes, sir. God bless you, sir. You God too. Time and everything you have seen in order for, for a better Nigeria. Yeah. Well, what, I, what I'm saying, I just want to say is um, you can see the same kind of um, arrogance. That, yes, I'm not sorry to say that it's arrogance that is making a minister to come on here. You can see the, words, the way he was responding to your um, questions. And the same kind of arrogance was the same thing in the, the presidential candidate. But the only thing I would say is, everybody that is campaigning for Tinubu and whoever that you know they are campaigning for, may their own children grow up the same with the same character of the presidential candidate they are campaigning for. God bless you, sir. You too. Thanks for calling me. Good morning to you. Good morning. Hello? Good morning to you. Hello, good morning. Yes, please. Good morning to you. Yes, sorry. I just wanted to know what your um, news number is, telephone number for the news. The newsroom. Yeah, um, yeah, because there's an incident at Ojota. Okay. So I just to let me let me let me call it for you. Do you have something to type it down or write it down? Okay, I do. Okay. Hold on one second. All right, go ahead. O one. Okay. Four six five. Yes. Seven one seven five. Seven one seven five. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, they're waiting for your call right now. Good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, Jerry, yes, please. Good morning, good morning to you. Yes, ma'am. Uh, you told me that uh, you didn't pick the female line when he was on air. Mm. Otherwise, I would have asked him, what about your, your principal? I really, really say much on the podium. What he says, 
he will come, he will abuse, uh, abuse, uh, abuse any other person, then dance buga and go. He will clap. They have not done well. Hmm. If you like, let him be angry. And they don't talk to Nigerians the way he's talking to us. That man used to be an artist, and we were one of those people who admired him. Politics have changed him. Good morning. Uh, thank you, Madam Ifi. Obina is on Skype. Let's listen to him. Obina, hi. Hi, Sherry. Good morning. Good morning to you. Yeah, Sherry. The, the, the man you just interviewed, the statesman of the Eswaju uh, campaign that you just spoke with now, mm. you know, he's not a green horn to what he just did. He's been doing it over the years, mm. and he's an expert to what he does. We that are listening, we really know what he said and what he didn't say. And someone spoken words that he was trying to dodge, you know. Uh, he said that uh, who started this uh, labeling of a team, if not APC, some years ago before Buhari came in. He forgot how they used the coffin to roam around the streets, claiming that it was uh, the former president, the then president, who was uh, the Lord Jonathan. Now it's so bad. It looks, he's painting a, a picture that everybody is against Asiwaju. Then, when they were doing it, oh, Obina. it was. I will know the truth. Mm. No problem. Uh, Thank you. He tried to bully you. He Thank you, Obina. No, no he, he didn't try to bully me. It's okay. He didn't try. It's, it's not like that. Kendi, hi. Good morning to you. Hi. Good morning, Sherry. Good morning to you. Uh, so, I, I've been following the campaign train of all these presidential candidates. Right. A, a certain person called and said, people should focus on issues. I want to remind that person, the only person that has not focused on issues in this campaign that has been calling people names is Bola Ahmed Tinubu. The last one we saw in Ondo, the last one we saw in Edo. So they should please remind their candidate to focus on issues. I don't know how, how you will do it whenever you interview this man. Only thing I hear is noise. I just hear noise. I can't, I can't pick things because it's just shouting and shouting. Too much arrogance. Please, I, I, I want to beg them. They should not take Nigerians for granted. And mm. they should please address Nigerians with respect. Every mm. of their cabinet, from Femi Adeshino to Garbashe, all of them keep exuding arrogance. Mm. I pray God Nigerians should rightly and take people that will respect them. Thank you, please. Thank you, Kennedy, for your thoughts. Appreciate it. Let me go take uh, some thoughts off um, social media. Uh, the the prevailer solution says, um, I don't know there is a difference between orthodox media and uh, media in general. Uh, of course, yes. Uh, there are, yeah, mm, that's why you have the new media. Mm? Okay. Uh, uh, okay. I'm going to have to skip through some messages here. Yeah. Um, just so we can get to the ones that address the um, interview we just had. David says, um, let the media know that there is a difference between campaign and jamboree. His presidential candidate was in Kano and was saying he just uh, wants to dance. Uh, are we to consider a dance for Asso Rock job? Uh, how many issues has, um, the, has he spoken to and how he intends to fix the country? David Show said that. David, thank you. I think I can squeeze in just one more. Hmm? Let's do one more. Good morning to you. Sherry, good morning. Good morning to you. You are Mr. Mbaba. Thank you. I want you to tell APC and Ahmed Bola Trumbo and those people who are supporting them. We didn't need campaign. What we need is TV debate. We need debate so that he can add more funny things to us for us to hear or he can cast more jokes. That is what we need. So we will know their minds. You know, if you know how Atiku will come, you will boldly speak. And you know, Peter, the way he finish talks, the way he finish questions, let Ahmed Bola Trumbo come in little debates mm. or TV organized debate. Thank let you. Let us hear from him so Thank we you. can see more jokes. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. Yeah, hello. Yes, please. Good I can, I, Sorry, I can hear you. It's so fine. It's fine. It's um, good. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I wanted to say something. I mean, this um, interview now just made me remember Uncle Jimmy. Mm. Uncle Jimmy always talk about this same attitude of um, explaining yourself as though you are angry. 
I mean, he's always acting all angry and all the time. And um, I'm talking about you, the person that was in service first of Kiamu now. And then um, they said we should, in the interview should be, I mean, Nigeria should restrict, we should work based on issue based. Is health not part of it? I, want, I, I was calling in, but my call wasn't going through. I wanted to ask, what about that proposition that they talked about um, candidates um, partaking in health um, service, like bringing their head um, credentials for scrutiny and all of that? Isn't it part of it? And and somebody is calling in to say that um, we should not we should not talk about health. It's paramount, just as other things are paramount. Sorry, and, how, and the last thing I was going to say is, I'm sorry to say, oh, just like he apologized, saying that um, the Nigerians are um, saying nonsense uh, in a way. And I got his apology, and that's I'm also apologizing because me, I'm a lawyer, <coughs> sorry. and I'm looking forward to learning from people like. People like him, that is a son, but he's not giving us good president. Sorry to say. Mm. Thank you. Thank you too for calling me. Appreciate it. Okay. Um, let me see who is here. Let's see who is here. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go to the live stream right now. We have um, comments on the live stream. Um, Olufemi uh, Augustin says, Why is APC defenders are always angry, agitated, and shouting when talking or defending uh, a point? Um, Augusto said that in uh, on uh, Facebook live stream. I'm going to YouTube now. Uh, Henry says, When the question does not go well with um, him, he starts attacking the interviewer as a public servant. Uh, you have to be ready to address any question uh, put across to you in a matured manner. Um, um Charles says, Presso is defensive and doesn't allow Sheriff to talk well. Uh, he's doing his job. Uh, Timmy, uh, let me see. Timmy, what are you saying? Okay. Uh, Timmy, thank you for your thoughts. Appreciate it. You know what? Let, let's um, let's give out some money. Let's give out some money. Let's um, let's lay off the interview for now. Huh? Let's lay off the interview. Let's let's bring out. We'll bring some other parties uh, because the elections are here. So we need to hear more from. All of the parties, not just the APC alone, I mean all of the parties. There are issues and most of them are not exactly addressing those issues. They are uh, just saying they will do this, they will do that. How are you going to do this and how are you going to do that? Uh, most of them, even those that have said they will do this and this is how they will do it, um, they, they, they shy away from going into details as to how, that, how their process would work right for instance all of them all of them they stand equal risk of inheriting 77 trillion naira in cumulative debt of this country now how the heck do you want to get anything done with that kind of amount on your shoulders so it's it's a different ball game right now it's completely a different ball game i don't know i don't want to say um because i'm not clairvoyant i don't want to say that the year is going to be a very top fear but let's hope that um, the year gets better as we go into the year okay but let's just all brace up um because um all of them all of the candidates i don't know any one of them who has a magic wand um, to make your life better this year maybe next year maybe in two years time with the kind of stuff that we have right now on our shoulders uh it's gonna take miracle like serious miracle let's give us some money good morning to you Good morning, sir. Good morning. What's your name? Godman. Your name is what? Hey. Should I go? Yeah, You're wasting my time, oh. This yeah. individual is not ready. Let me take another call. Good morning to you. Good morning, sir. Good morning. What's your name, sir? Kunle uh, Adetuloye. Mr. Kunle? Yes, sir. Do you, do you want to speak to the interview or you want money? Sir? Do you want money or you want uh, to speak to the interview? I'm just calling. I'm um, for the first time. I'm going for the first time. Okay. What do you want to tell? Oh, yeah, it's gone. It's gone. And please now, eh, let not village people happen now. Eh? I guess give out something. Morning to you. Hello, Sherry. Morning to you. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing okay. Are okay. You? I'm calling regarding the interview. Sherry, what was that? Like the interview. Okay. Well, I'm thinking he was talking to some 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 road road roadside country calm, or calm, something. Calm I mean. Down. Calm down. What have we got into that you are addressing a country? 
Because as far as I'm concerned, this station is addressing a country. And you're sounding like you're fighting with the person that's intervening you. Come on now. Coffee demand that you show some respect. Was he trying to bully you or what? I mean, it's, 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 not, it's not done anyway. Okay, look at the way he hung up. It was like hanging up a call. Imagine hanging up a call on someone when you're having a conversation with that person. That's so disrespectful. He needs to take a chill pill. He needs to. I mean, people look at him like a role model, and he's not really portraying it. He's not showing us that, hey, he's, he's worthy to be some, some role model or something, you know? It's, it's, just, it's just a pity, really. I mean, who does an interview like this? Who, who does that? Well, Cherry, if it is well, God help Nigeria, really. <laughs> It's just, it's just crazy. Mm, thank, thank you. you. Well thank done. you. Keep thank it. you for calling. Oh, sorry. Thank you for calling me. Appreciate it. Okay. Um, listen, everybody, just go get your PVC. Um, vote for um, anybody you, you want, your candidate. Yeah? Be very, I mean, have some personal conviction that this is, the, this is why I'm voting this person. Don't vote because some people... Um, told you that you should vote for this person because vote for that person because you are convinced deep down inside of you you're convinced that you will stand by your decision you will not blame sheriff you will not blame jimmy this you will not blamed you will not blame anybody for your decision in four years time see i know why i'm saying this so don't blame don't don't do it because you will blame yourself don't vote because you're looking for somebody to blame which i see happening anytime yeah it's gonna happen regardless but uh, i just thought to say people will still blame other people but i just thought to say um oof. so we we have to go i don't know what's happening i wanted to give out money but then yeah uh, it is what it is i have to i have to leave the studio thank you all for being a part of the morning crossfire for today tomorrow we have another great show for you another amazing show for you tomorrow you need to stick around um yes and of course i'm on social media that's sheriff quadri 99.3 nigeria info we'll be right back Nigeria Info. We are more than just radio. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Nigeria Info FM. Check us out on Facebook at Nigeria Info 99.3. Follow us on Twitter at Nigeria Info FM and on Instagram at Nigeria Info FM Lagos for live updates as it happens. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk. 99.3 99.3 Nigeria Info. We are more than just radio. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Nigeria Info FM. Check us out on Facebook at Nigeria Info 99.3. Follow us on Twitter at Nigeria Info FM and on Instagram at Nigeria Info FM Lagos for live updates as it happens. 99.3 Nigeria Info.